Welcome back guys to my channel. My name is Alex and today I decided to remake my tutorial on how to play Pacific Rim the video game on your computer or laptop. First of all, I must thank you for reaching 300 subscribers on my channel and 55,000 views on my channel as well. I'm very grateful to you for that one. So that's why I decided to remake and add some information on how to play Pacific Rim the video game on your computer or laptop. First of all, you're gonna need to download the archive from my Google Drive. The link to it I'll leave in the comments section and in the, in the description under this video. Second thing that you might, want, might need is a touch server and touch client for your phone device. I must warn you though that uh, touch client is available only on Android phones. So let me show you how to connect your phone to your computer or laptop. First of all, you're gonna need to go to GitHub I'll let the link to touch server and uh, touch client under my previous video tutorial. You're gonna need to download touch server v1.2.1.zip and then after you download it, and then after you download it, you need to unpack it using WinRAR or zip. You need to unpack this folder, folder into any place that you see better. Once you unpack this uh, file, you need to launch touch server. Here, it's launched now. And then you need to launch touch client on your device. First of all, here, that's my device. I've connected it to my to my device. And now I want to show you how I can do that. So, here it is. First of all, you're going to need to find Xbox in for tools line. But before that, oops, sorry, I pressed the wrong button. Here it is, again. As you can see, no devices connected yet, but server is already started. So you need to go to touch client, then find for tools, Xbox, because we're playing on Xenia Cavalry emulator, which is the emulator of the Xbox console, as we all know it. And then, once in the touch client, you need to press the button in the middle of your screen. It's called the connection button. Son of a bitch! Again. Here. It must be connected right now. Here. It's connected right now. So now you can use your phone. Here, I've connected my phone as a Xbox controller. And now you can use your phone as a gamepad for the game. And now I want to show you how to play. First of all, you're gonna need Xenia Canary Netplay. Like I said before, I left the emulator along with real still the video game archive on my Google Drive. As you can see it now weights 3.24 gigabytes. But don't worry, if you have a strong internet connection on your computer, you'll be able to download it in less than 20 minutes. Maybe more. I don't know. I I was uploading this archive for about 60 minutes, which means one hour. Okay, here's the deal. 
I left uh, the link to download Pacific Rim the video game in my previous video tutorial. I'll send another link in the corner of this video. So, how to play this game? First of all, you need to open file here, then open, then you need to find your file with the game and folder as well. Then you're gonna need to go here, here, and default XEX. Don't forget about that, please. So, we also have a deal with another thing. So, let me first launch the game. I'm sorry for the lags, guys, but I've tried everything to do. Especially... Son of a... Ah, finally connected again. Sorry, go sorry, guys. Had some feature problems with that. Alright, the game is launching. As I said before, I'm sorry for the lags, but we have some... I mean, I have some problems with that. Because my laptop is uh, slightly weak, I must say. Alright, let's wait for the game to upload. Here, we're finally in the game. So, star button. By the way, I've already bought a gamepad for myself. And I don't need touch client and touch server anymore. But as I said before, you might be needing it. Because if you don't have any gamepad, then please use uh, touch client and touch server. Alright, here it is. Here, we're finally in the main menu of the game. First of all, you might need some troubles such as not unlocked DLCs. Like I said, I managed to to solve that problem by just editing the file in the of the comes. Ah, shit. All right, sorry guys, I'm just a little bit nervous. Close the game, please. All right, here. Mm -hmm. The record is still online. Finally. All right, you need to go to Real Still the Video Game. You need to find Xenia Canary Netplay config file. Open it with any text editor, but I highly recommend you Notepad++. Then, here it is. You can see a lot of settings you can make. But you need this one. License mask. Set license mask for activating content. It might solve your problem. You can see that there's a lot of those. Alright, guys. You need to put instead of zero, which is means no licenses enabled. You need to... Sorry guys, my bad. Just got some troubles. Alright, first of all, like I said before, you need to put, instead of zero, you need to put minus one. Because it will unlock all possible licenses in the, of the game. Which means that you will be able to unlock DLCs as well. But I must warn you, it might not work. Because some people sent me comments under my previous video that they weren't able to unlock DLCs. So, for that case, that's why I uploaded this archive. In there, you will find Real Steel the video game. You will find saved data files 
for both Pacific Rim the video game and to the real steel. And I must warn you for this one that uh, your computer or laptop might not be able to launch the game or even the emulator. So make sure your configuration of your computer or laptop is uh, requires. Oh, oops, guys, sorry, just uh, disconnected my phone from the touch client. So, guys, all I want to say is that you need to download this archive because it has all problems solved in there. Let me show you. Sorry, sorry again. Here, you can find these folders and files in it and if I'm correct I don't remember to be honest there is the file to play real still the video game so like I said before open Xenia Canary Netlay config with any text editor but I highly recommend you Notepad++ so if your computer or laptop doesn't meet any requirements to launch the game or it's freezing and lagging, please, you can edit this file to meet your or your personal requirements. But be careful, because if you do something with this file, you can crash the emulator and it won't launch as well as the game inside of it so I hope this helped you a lot and I'll be glad if you leave your feedback in the comments so thank you again for your uh, thank you again for 300 subscribers and 55 and 55 thousand views on my channel I'm really nervous because of that sorry for my mistakes and yeah English is not my personal language so I might have some mistakes in pronouncement sorry about that if you will be able please turn on the subtitles for this video so Alex was, was there see you soon